Money, 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 money. Money. If you want to know what the hell I'm talking about, please stay tuned to find out. You get a check. 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 Everybody gets a check. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today, we're talking about that $2 trillion bailout that we're all getting. Plus, all these other trillions of dollars that are floating all over the place. I mean, in fact, it seems like uh, the Fed is printing so much money. It's, you know, Apparently, they're gonna have so much left over to buy the world. Yeah, that's right, they're buying the world. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's episode. So, they're not just buying your vote, or buying your silence, or just buying your, um, what you might call it? Just buying your, um, just buying you. I mean, basically, that's <laughs> what, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, they're also buying, you know, uh, corporations, they're buying the stock market, they're buying the world. All right. Now, before I get too deep into today's conversation, I want to just remind everybody that please subscribe to my BitChute channel. Subscribe to my other channel. In fact, go down below right now and check out and below in the description and uh, just go to my website, you know, joseadiaga.com, where you can find everywhere that, at, that I am. And as I keep uh, going to brand new different platforms, I'm gonna keep adding more links there. Because, you know, basically what's going on is that I'm, I'm trying to upload almost every day, but my videos are keep getting uh, shadow banned or blocked or what have you. Don't forget, every single Wednesday, I have a live stream at 12 Eastern, okay? It sometimes is 11 Eastern. It just all depends, but again, hit the bell icon so that way you don't miss a thing all right now i'm not going to keep uh, going with that because i know your time is valuable and i'm not going to keep wasting it with this so let's get to the show all right so if you guys aren't aware um the government just uh signed a two trillion dollar uh bailout of the people now it has not done yet um they i'm, I'm, I'm filming this on uh Thursday afternoon and uh, tomorrow friday um they are going to take it to the house hopefully it passes the house all right, we don't know how long that's gonna take, but um, some at some point by next week, we should have this thing already passed, meaning it just needs to get through the house and then Trump said he's gonna sign it. Now, what does this really mean? Well, basically, I'm sure you guys have already heard, everyone's getting around $1,200, um, and it's, it's all gonna vary on various things as, as to how we're, you know, us Americans are gonna get this money and so on and so forth. So. You know, we're gonna wait and see, but that's not basic, that's not what we're gonna be talking about here. We're gonna be talking about other things, the other implications of what all this is. Because when I, uh, one of the last episodes that I made, I'm, uh, I've made a great point, and in fact, I'm gonna keep making this point over and over again until people start, starts drilling into people's head. But I basically said, when is the average American gonna ask themselves, with all this money printing going on, with all this money printing available and all this money just everywhere, then why do I have to pay my taxes? Why can't they just print my tax money, right? Exactly. And so that's what we're getting at now. You know, we're getting to the point where they're printing so much money, it's gonna get to a point real quick where a lot of this money is not gonna be worth anything. Where you're gonna be paying $5 trillion for a Starbucks coffee. coffee. I mean, for reals. I know it sounds crazy, but I mean, you can go to plenty of countries in very recent history um, so you can get an idea as to how this works. Uh, just look at Venezuela, look at Zimbabwe, and we can go as far back as Weimar, Germany, and so on and so forth. But we're going to just stick to the US of A right now. Um, you can do that homework on your own. I'm just going to tell you what's going on because I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably pretty curious, all right? So right now, um, as of today, we're looking at the stock market, right, as I'm filming, and the stock market is, you know, in the green. It's been in the green. It seems that the market has recovered. I think it's a bull trap, I think it's whatever, but hey, at the same time, I, this could go to 30K, 40K, 50K and keep climbing, or it could dump. And we don't really know, I think it might dump, but the point is, is that we're now going into uncharted territory, because now, in fact, before I get too far into this, I'm gonna show you a quick little thing. Look, this is what one million looks like. This is what one billion looks like. And this is what one 
trillion looks like. Now this is the stimulus package that just passed, which is two trillion, okay? Plus all the other trillions that they have been printing, all right? on a daily basis now because remember back in October we were printing about 80 billion dollars give or take in order to uh, 40 billion 80 billion uh, a day in order to um, we, what is it feed the markets you know the repo market the repo scam okay what that was was basically they were telling they were already doing it back then they've been doing it since forever it's been QE infinity they just now um, have said you know now they're just flat out saying it to you guys but you know basically ever since QE happened back in 2007 2008 what was QE that was a bailout of the banks the bailout of the stock market the bailout of the country they were printing into oblivion and buying back the whole thing and that has never stopped it's kept going in fact in recent months and years it, it got worse but you know right now when they've been saying oh um the stock market has been uh um, you know, now we're going to do stock buybacks or we're going to stop that or what have you. Listen, man, that's still going on. Okay. It has been going on for a very long time and it's not going to continue to go forward. That's what, um, when you hear me and others talking about nationalizing these companies. Okay. Now these corporations are getting married. Okay. With the United States of America and thus creating this thing called fascism. Okay. Or communism depending on how they implement it but that's basically where we're moving into all right and um you know right now that's what's going on you know they're just ramping it up even further that's why today all right when no when remember all companies and all pretty much all business across the u.s and a good majority of the world right now is at a standstill there's nothing going on anywhere everyone's at home everyone's in quarantine everyone's whatever and even there might be some of you guys are still working still doing your thing still but you guys already know um or you look around you and like 80 to 90 percent of uh you know everything around you is at a complete stop in fact some of you guys in the u.s are already getting your your papers right so you can present your papers and when you leave your house to a cop to make sure that they you know that you're going to work and so on and so forth or you're going to the right place so yeah you know we're moving into that very very quickly your papers please okay and um in order for them to uh, you know roll this out meaning you know in order for them to force everyone to stay home in order for everyone to be okay with the fact that they have military equipment all over the place in order for them in order for them for the u.s people to be okay um you know, with uh, you know, with them not having an income, with the whole economy stopping, with you know all of these things that are happening, the loss of their freedoms. You know, whether it's the Defense Protection Act thing, I forgot what it's called. You know, but that new thing that he passed, you know, um, which is basically already in, in enhancing martial law and so on and so forth. In order for all of this to happen, they have to bribe the people. That was the word I was looking for early, earlier on. But they have to bribe the people, and that's basically what they're doing with this um, $1,200. Because, again, this virus thing, I mean, as long as it can last, it can't last more than a few weeks to a few months tops. But, they're, again, this thing is uh, already going to be implemented for at least a year or longer. And as you guys already know from a lot of these government programs and government things, just go back into 9-11 and so on and so forth, you know, these things are there forever okay once you start losing your freedoms you never get them back okay just like again the Patriot Act and so many other things but let's not get too you know off subject here so right now the whole economy is stopped everything has come to a complete standstill all right and um, it should be reflecting in the stock market as well because everyone is losing confidence there's no real um, reason for um, the stock market to be jumping up so high at this moment in time you know setting a record high um, you know over 2,000 points a couple days ago um, we went to green yesterday you know yesterday was also green and today we're in green and who knows where we're gonna be tomorrow probably green again not normal um, in fact if you look at the actual stocks there's a bunch of stocks out there that are actually getting um, you know, hold on, I wrote it here, I'm sorry. I made some notes, there's a lot of shit to talk about. But anyways, um, but yeah, if you look at some stocks right now, today, um, they're actually trading higher and trading them more than they were a year ago when everything was running normally. So why is now that everything is closed and stopped and the whole economy is frozen, um, why is it that now, of all times, 
you know, a lot of these um, stocks are um, climbing higher than they've ever climbed before. None of this makes any sense. Okay, unless you understand what's really going on. The fact that this whole market is fake, phony, and false, and you're seeing it now. I know I've been talking about this for a long time and a few others out there have as well, but the reality is is that most people don't, never understood it, never got it, and a lot of you guys still don't get it, but that's what we're trying to hear to explain. But yeah, they're fake, phony, and false, and you can see it right now, because who's buying this market? Who's setting these record highs? What's going on here? Can you characterize everything that the Fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money? Yes, exactly. And there's no end to your ability to do that? There is no end to our ability to do that. Is the Fed just going to print money? That's literally what Congress has told us to do. That's the authority that they've given us to print money and provide liquidity into the financial system. And that's how we do it. We, we create it electronically, and th then we can also print it with the Treasury Department, print it so that you can get money out of your ATM. There's enough cash in the financial system and there is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. We will do whatever we need to do to make sure that there's enough cash in the banking system. Yeah. But you get it though. You, I mean, you understand that, you know, basically all they got to do is print money out of thin air, which they're doing right now, as you guys already see. Um, and then that money that is printed out of thin air, they, you know, move it around. And by the way, if you want to know more, okay, on how the, the exacts on how they do all this, let me know down below in the comments and I will link to you guys other YouTube channels that will explain this, I mean, every single thing and ver you know what I mean, perfectly, you know what I mean? Like what all these programs are, what all these buyback programs are, what all of this mumbo jumbo is, okay? Because that's not my department, but hey, I, there's plenty of people out there that they've been doing this forever and uh, they will be more than happy to explain it to you and they got other YouTube channels and I will be more than happy to share that stuff with you, assuming you wanna, you know, get into all that nitty gritty. But I think a lot of you guys just kinda wanna know what's really going on, you know? You don't need to know all of the details because Again, even the people that are constructing this, you know, AKA the Fed, AKA our own government, they don't even know what the F they're doing. And that's just the reality of it. <laughs> I mean, you know, but anyways, so, uh, you know, why is it that today, you know what I mean? Of all, you know, when uh, we got the jobless claims, which again, you know, 3.3 million jobless claims. Oh no, God! But again, we really do the numbers. And again, you know, we've been talking about this for a long time, for a while now. Um, it, it, first of all, it should have been way higher than 3.3. All right, it should be way higher than 3.3 million jobless claims. All right, but even at 3.3, you know, uh, million jobless claims, that still set a record. I think we went. Um, what is it? With the, the last time, the last we we surpassed the record by I think like 300 something, 80 percent. You know, the, the the highest ever in the history of America. All right, um, and yet the market's all in green. Everything is positive. Everything is just buy, buy, buy. All right, and again, nothing is making sense at all whatsoever, no matter what, but we're just now talking about the money. You know, now we're talking about the fact that, you know, how is it that the United States of America or the Fed or the central banks so or whoever's really printing this money, all right? Um, how the hell is this gonna work? Because basically what, hold on, let me, yeah, okay. So basically what they're doing right now Okay, is that they're printing into oblivion. They're using that same money, not just to buy your vote, buy your silence, buy your, you know, bribe you, okay, for lack of a better term. Um, but they're also buying corporations around the world, basically their corporations, US corporations, but other corporations, because when they say, hey, we're gonna bail out the cruise industry, you know, if you know anything about the cruise industry, they don't fly an American flag. Their ports of call are other countries so that they can get away with, uh, you know, worker laws and you know what I mean? Like, because again, if they have to have an American flag, then they gotta follow American protocol when it comes to work environment. But if they have a flag of like, whatever, Zambia, you know, whatever, you know, it is what it is. I don't know what countries they are, but, but they have other flags. So basically when the U.S. says, oh, we're gonna bail out the cruise industry, we're bailing out a, an industry that doesn't even belong in the U.S. And we're doing that, okay? When we're bailing out the air, uh, airline industry, we're bailing out all these industries that uh, they should have used all that cash. Instead of buying back their stock, they should have maybe saved it for a rainy day. And now they got nothing and they're asking for more money. And we're paying for that, you know, because again, it's our taxes, it's our hard work. It's all, you know, you're gonna start seeing this when everything is more expensive on the, uh, you know, when you start going out and everything is more expensive at the supermarket, um, at the gas station, at everywhere you go. Um, so yes, now everybody's gonna be getting free money, but as you get free money,
the corporations get free money. Other countries around the world are getting free money because, yeah, that's another thing. The, the dollar is now bailing out the world. They're bailing out countries. Basically, every single fucking country around the world already got the direct deposit check before you. That's right. They already, you know, all these central banks around the world, you know, just got a humongous pump and flux of U.S. dollars. And I mean, look, man, no matter how much a country hates the U.S. or the U.S. dollar, if all of a sudden you get like a billion or a few billion into your bank account, what, what you, do you think that country is not going to use it? They are. Okay. And what are they going to use it for? You already know. Stimulate the economy. Stimulate the world economy. They want these dollars to move and go into action. But how can that be sustainable? It can't. Because what's, what's going to happen is, is, is that as more money is being printed, well, all, each dollar in existence loses value. And how does it lose value? Well, again, because if you're printing out of, it, out of thin air, all right, it's monopoly money. You just print, 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 print. And then you're using that money to buy everything around the world. You know, then people around the world are going to start asking themselves a question. Well, is this money really worth anything? If they could just print it out of thin air and they're buying everything? I mean... How does this make any sense? How is this dollar any valuable? So people even around the world and you as well, you know, through either through hyperinflation or through, you know, you know, because of through either hyperinflation, you know, when you're going to see the prices go higher, you're going to see things go higher or whatever, either through that method or through the method of like, well, they can just print this out of thin air and they're buying everything. They're buying me. They're buying, you know, how, 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 how is this worth anything? How are these dollars worth anything? So then at that point, people are going to start losing faith in the dollar like that. They just are because it, it's just not going to make any sense. You know, the fact that they can just give money away, they can print and give money away and buy everything. So is this money even valuable to begin with? So people are going to start getting very worried and then they're going to start diversifying. Okay. And they're going to start figuring it out. The people that know they're going to be buying gold, silver, Bitcoin, and other assets, even property. But a lot of people that don't know they're going to start educating themselves real quick and start going after these assets as well. And right now, as we stand, you know, um, they're having um, difficulty delivering on gold and silver contracts. In fact, a lot of you guys have already told me that you guys have gone out, you know, to your local dealers to try to buy gold and silver, physical gold and silver, and you can't buy or find any. Um, out here, um, I've heard, I can buy it at the bank, but it's already gone up exponentially i remember remember i don't know if you guys remember i bought it a few weeks ago and wow you know what i mean right now the bank will pay me more to give them that same silver coin back yeah that's mexico by the way because that's, i'm out here now i got stuck out here all right you know due to the virus situation oh, oh i already said a bad word oh oh spaghetti oh Anyways, again, you know, a quick reminder, <laughs> like I said earlier, please, all right, check out my website and check out all the other places because, you know, a lot of videos I'm going to upload and they're going to end up on BitChute and only on BitChute because you're just not going to find them on YouTube because YouTube is just going to straight up block them like they've been doing for a while. So if you get to watch this and you want to see more, check me out, uh, not just BitChute, but on Library, just check out the links. I'm not going to go through that again. All right, so... You know, back to where what we were saying. Uh, da, 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 da. So another thing that's happening is the fact that um, for now, let's talk crypto for one quick second. Um, so basically, um, I, I, what the U.S. is also going to try to do, we don't know how they're going to go about this, but they're also now. Oh, hold on one second. Yeah, sorry. Just want to make sure the camera was still going. But anyways, like I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted by me. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Um, you know, basically, um, Steve Mnuchin, you know, has hired um, the guy that's in, that was in charge of Coinbase. What is Coinbase? For anyone that doesn't know out there, Coinbase is basically um, the easiest way for anyone to jump onto the crypto train. All right. If you don't know anything about crypto, most likely the first place that anyone's going to take you or guide you or tell you to go is to go to Coinbase. And at Coinbase, you would be able to start purchasing uh crypto and and start your journey on that but anyway so that's what coinbase is i'm not going to get too into it all right most of you guys already know what it is and a lot of you guys don't look it up if you want to know more but anyways the point is is that this very very crypto friendly 
guy is now got now got hired by Steve Mnuchin. All right, and uh, you know who Steve is, okay, Mr. Mnuchin. All right, Mr. Munchkin. All right, um, he got hired by him, and so right now, as they're drafting a lot of these things, as they're drafting all these uh, trillion dollar bailouts, as they're drafting how they're going to give you money. As they're trying to figure out how they're going to deliver all of this, um, they're bringing this guy in and they might be using crypto. They might be using a Fed dollar. And by the way, again, you know, I'm not going to, this is not a Bitcoin episode, but if you want to know more about Bitcoin, check out my other videos. I got Bitcoin 101. Please ask questions. I'm, I'm more than happy to answer all kinds of uh, questions for you about this topic. Um, but basically, um, Bitcoin has, is not going to be anything even remotely close to whatever the US coin, the US Fed coin, whatever that would be. So the US might be, you know, in the works because there's a lot of countries that are in the works right now, um, like China and others around the world that are creating their own cryptocurrency. Um, Venezuela already created their petrol. Speaking of Venezuela, you know, now the US has uh, designated Maduro and um, the guy that was in head of his finance um, as, uh, and others as, uh, as terrorists. Okay, and they are not going to probably be using that to invade Venezuela. All right, and now they're using the whole crypto thing because hey, Venezuela created their own crypto, their own uh, uh, cryptocurrency that they were issuing and backing by gold and silver and natural resources. And uh, you know, the U.S. can't have that. You know what I mean? So now they're going to use that, designate uh, Venezuela as a terrorist organization, and invade. Mark my words, you're going to see something like that. It's crazy. I hope it doesn't happen. But hey, how else are they going to keep this uh, dog and pony show um, for you guys? You know what I mean? They got to start, you know, causing another war because this war against the flu is, you know, it's about to be done. So, they, you know, they need another, you know, this new invisible enemy is, is not as, as juicy as the old invisible enemy, terrorism. And so now, you know, they're, they're going to go after Maduro because he's a terrorist now. I did not know that, but seems like he is. Anyways, and by the way, not Mexico, because remember, we thought that the U.S. was going to start going after the cartels in Mexico, and because that's why they live, they now um, designated uh, uh, cartels and uh, drug uh, traffickers and all that stuff as terrorists. Okay, well, by the way, the construction is starting across the thing, so I apologize if the noise is a little off okay but we're gonna continue with this all right sorry you know they're doing a lot of construction and I was basically filming this on the lunch break and by the way I'm also making these a little longer because I know that you guys enjoy this content and I'm also putting this stuff in podcast form so that you guys can listen to it at your leisure as well so please you know don't forget to check out the podcast down there where not only am I doing stuff like on the boomer and the zoomer but on my own podcast channel you can check all this stuff out all right but yeah, you know, so like I was saying about the cryptocurrency before I interrupted myself with the whole Venezuela thing, um, was basically the fact that, you know, now um, we, the United States is probably going to not just create a cryptocurrency, but or, or a Fed coin or use that terminology in order to lie to the people and issue this new currency because there's a lot of people out there talking, especially in the crypto community, crypto channels that don't really understand what's going on and they're like, Oh, the U.S. is now going to create a Fed coin. Listen, guys, listen. The United States dollar, as it exists right now, is a re is already a digital token, a digital currency. All right, it just happens to have paper money as well. So, if all of a sudden the United States says, "Oh, we're going to create a United States dollar token, and we're going to be using this," that means that they created a brand new currency, and they're going to start phasing out the old currency. But no one's no one. No one knows this. No one, you know, no one, none of you guys can know any of this, all right? All right? In fact, you know, erase your memory, all right? Pretend you didn't hear anything. But that's what's, what's happening. That's what they're trying to do. So they're trying to buy the world with these useless dollars and at the same time create a brand new currency so that when those dollars are useless, they're already, oh, hey, we got this other one now. What are you going to do about it? Nothing, because we got the biggest army in the world and we're pointing it right at you. Suck it. That's what the U.S. is going to do. And they're going to continue doing this. And how are they going to continue doing this? As long as you, the people, and as long as the people around the world keep, you know, putting faith in these currencies that they're creating and using. And let's see how far this goes. Because right now in the U.S., I hope it doesn't turn into this. But I think that right now, like I was saying in one of my previous episodes, this is a trial run when they're keeping everybody in their homes. They're seeing if they, everybody's going to follow orders, you know, and yada, yada, yada. Hopefully it doesn't turn into anything and, you know, everybody is back to work in a, like a few weeks to a month. But at the same time, in a, in a few weeks to a month, you might be signing up for your free, uh, for your FEMA camp, all right? 
So, yeah, all right, guys. You know, if you don't know anything about the whole FEMA camp situation, again, you know, check out some of my older videos. I'm going to be making more videos on that in the future, assuming we start going down that route in the U.S. because it's not looking pretty, all right? But let's continue with what we were saying. Let me see. So, da 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 da. Okay, so yeah, that, so when the whole, uh, so the, the reason I was bringing up the whole digital currency, the whole uh, cryptocurrency aspect to this and the, and the bailouts and all this shit is because this is the thing that I've been talking about for a long time on my channel when it pertains to cryptocurrency. It is up to us in the cryptocurrency community to take a hold of this stuff, all right, and use it correctly and build correctly on it because right now, as we're seeing in front of our eyes, the United States government is hijacking, all right, this whole, or, or they're about to start hijacking this whole technology thing because when they issue this brand new dollar, okay, that is not on a blockchain, and even if it is, it's uh, not a real blockchain, um, and it's not gonna, it's, and it's also gonna be very centralized and controlled by the Fed. Again, it goes against everything that what Bitcoin and, and all these cryptocurrencies are. And since people don't know about any of this stuff, if all of a sudden the US comes out with a brand new blockchain-based cryptocurrency that blah, 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 and they say all the key words to the people, the people are gonna eat that shit up and they're gonna buy it and they're gonna buy into it and they're gonna be like, ah, well, why the fuck would I put my my anything into Bitcoin? I don't even know what the fuck that is. I mean, the US finally caught up and they made their own cryptocurrency. That has to be the... And again, that's the thing, you know, so when, when that happens, you know, again, people are just going to move from the U.S. dollar that is currently in place right now and move into that thing. And that's just, I mean, the fucking genius move. I mean, these guys are on another level of freaking evil. And they're, I mean, and I'm talking about the, you know, the NWO, you know, you remember Hulk Hogan, these guys, you know, the NWO, all that stuff. You know, I mean, these guys are on another level, man. You know, we, we think, you know, with our theories and our ideas that we had any clue as to where they were going with this but they keep surprising us and again not, that's why we, every time that something like this happens it reminds us the, the peons out here why they're the ones that make the big bucks out here all right not us but anyways yeah guys i think i'm gonna end this here because i think this episode's already gone long enough and um as you guys already know the noise is getting louder out there and i don't know how it's going to translate to this but we're gonna see how it goes Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this program today. I'm going to start making more of these. Um, usually I take weekends off and so on and so forth and, uh, and all that stuff. And I'm also trying to make content for my other Mexico travel channel. But as you guys probably already figured out, it's a little difficult when we're all stuck at home and everything's closed and so on and so forth. But I'm making more content now for this channel because this is what people want to know and talk about is this stuff right here. So this is what we're doing. But please check out my podcast. Check out my link below. Check out pretty much all the links down below on the description of this video so and, and every video so that you guys can uh, find me and check me out because I'm, I got content all over the place, all right? I'm spreading more than that virus, all right? For reals. Guys, I love you guys. You already know the deal. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, but more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys mañana. Bye. Or whenever the next video comes up. Hit that bell icon, all right? So that way you don't miss a thing.